Greetings, my name is Scott, and tonight my house is a little cold, just a little cold. Actually, it's not really cold at all, but my wife would like it to be warmer than it is. And so, I find myself wondering how to do that. The thermostat, you see, is cranked above the temperature that it's at right now, and the temperature has failed to rise, or raise, above a certain degree. This is because it's very cold outside. It's this morning when I got into my car, it was minus five degrees, which is very cold. Very cold indeed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and satisfy the needs of my family. Hey, and honey. you're welcome. And make a slight adjustment. But let me just go ahead and put the camera around and show you what's going on here. This is my thermostat, and as you can see, it is uh, it was set to 75, and it is in fact 72 degrees in the house. Upstairs, it's 69 degrees, and the thermostat reads a, uh, what's it set to, 70 something? 73. 73. So we're going to come down here to the basement, and the basement's pretty messy, so I'm just going to point the uh, camera up at the ceiling so you don't have to look at all the mayhem and chaos that I have going on down here. And, oops, forgot my screwdriver. I'm going to need a screwdriver for this operation. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't even know where I put it. I can't even begin to tell you. Okay, okay, so I found my trusty screwdriver and I have a, a flashlight. And I have a boiler. I've already removed the access panel, as you can see. And now the interesting thing about this furnace is that it is a, a dual zoned furnace, which means that I have the ability, the ability to control the temperature both upstairs and downstairs in two zones. And these two zones are controlled, they each have their own individual pumps as you can see there, and they also have their own individual thermostats, as you can see there, and a fairly new one up there. Many of these components have been replaced over the years, and here we have a temperature gauge. Now, you'll notice that in this temperature gauge, the temperature is nowhere near the red zone. And, in fact, it looks like I have plenty of room to go and I could get the pressure up a little higher which would mean that the temperature would also be higher because as you know PV equals NRT and that's a pressure volume physics thing I think it's called maybe it's called Boyle's Law? I'm not sure uh, I don't remember now here's the part where the flashlight comes in handy because this is oh, there we go rather dark in here and I'll go ahead and just get some indirect lighting on this by pointing it behind me. And this here is the thermostat. This controls this part right here controls the temperature there we go, of the uh, water. And I can't even tell what it's set to. Ah, it's, it looks it appears to be set to to 200. However, that is off because as you can see, this is nowhere near 200. And 200 on this readout is actually closer to 160 on the one above. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just give this needle little turn here, this dial I mean, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to about 215, and you heard the thermostat, or I'm sorry, you heard the furnace kick back on when I did that, and that should do the trick. I will keep an eye on this to make sure that it doesn't exceed uh, uncomfortable temperature and pressure.
pressure. I certainly don't want to see the pressure relief valve on the back side here kicking off and filling that bucket with water because that would mean that I would need to pour more water into the system, which is never fun. All right, that's, that's all for what you need to do to get your boiler to give you a little bit more heat. And I may need to come back down and raise it up just a little bit more later on, or I may come back and lower it down when the temperature outside gets a little warmer.